Good morning, this is John Palmieri at OEMcameras.com and guess what we have here today? We are the first to get the FLIR View Pro directly from FLIR. No, it did not fall off the truck. We're doing a quick unboxing and FLIR View Pro is the same as the FLIR View except it has the ability to record uh, all the video without radiometric data onto a small little SD card. Uh, FLIR View Pro uh, we'll take up to, I believe, a 32 uh, gigabit uh, SD card. Communication with the FLIR View Pro is only via Bluetooth and not via USB. Uh, there is a USB connection on here, just like the FLIR View, uh, but it is only to download images from the SD card. So the FLIR View Pro is slightly larger than the FLIR View, which we have here. And you can see probably by only about eight millimeters uh, wider in the back. Uh, obviously that is to uh, make way for uh, the SD card, a new interface card, and so forth. Um, this uh, does have also an input for Mavlink, uh, also uh, PPM inputs uh, that you could use from a receiver uh, to adjust a variety of the parameters. So opening up the FLIR View Pro, got a little cap. We also have the GoPro mount uh, on the bottom. So it'll mount to a uh, standard GoPro uh, mount, thank you. Uh, you can mount it upside down and within the uh, software uh, you can invert the image so everything will be right side up. Uh, that can also be taken off if you like. You can use the uh, nut barrel that holds onto the FLIR View GoPro mount. Uh, you can put this back on if you choose or leave it off uh, or you can even put this through a small hole uh, in some type of enclosure like we do here with our dual image sensor uh, uh, from oemcameras.com and put that on there and you can leave it in the panel and it'll work just fine. Um, there are two buttons on the side here. One is to uh, start recording when the unit uh, is uh, booted up. Uh, also to start the Bluetooth communication. When you first turn on the unit, Bluetooth does not operate immediately. It's in the 2.4 gigahertz range. They want to keep it that way so it doesn't necessarily interfere with um, some of the uh, devices, GPS or uh, communication um, protocols. And we're going to load this up very shortly. The FLIR View Pro will uh, plug into a, a mini USB 10 pin mini USB jack, which is uh, consistent with the uh, GoPro 10 pin mini USB. Uh, so it has power on uh, two connections. It also has composite video out on two other connections. Uh, this unit, though, comes with a cable which would give you the uh, uh, USB communication so you can, again, connect it to a computer. Uh, you can see the uh, video as soon as we start it up. Clear unmanned vehicles. So immediately out of the box, it does start uh, to transmit video. Uh, but there is again a whole boot up process for the uh, uh, for the Bluetooth to uh, start communicating. Uh, it does make a, a couple of sharp noises. Uh, this all can be disabled within the software. Um, within again the software is a. There you go. That means it's ready to start communicating via Bluetooth with the iPhone, iPad, iOS, or uh, which I have the uh, iPad over here, uh, or the uh, Android um, apps, which is downloadable now. Uh, it's called the Clearview Pro. What has to be done is you need to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on on your iPad, iPhone, or any other uh, device. Download the FLIR View Pro app. Uh, when the uh, unit is green uh, and the Bluetooth uh, uh, button there, that means it is off, believe it or not. Uh, when you press it, it turns blue and it is now detectable. It'll stay on for two minutes. Up in the FLIR View Pro software, it says device connected. Initial values, it's uh, reading up to 42 right now. This is where you'll be able to adjust the color palettes. Um, you do have, I believe, nine to choose from. So you have uh, black hot. So we can get a nice little setup over here. Well, black hot, white hot, fusion, arctic, lava, gray red, Iron Bow, Insta Alert, 
and Green Hot. Which these are a uh, very nice, uh, very nice color palettes for uh, for flying uh, this type of uh, this type of uh, unit. Uh, Going to the AGC mode, it does have uh, several uh, uh, several uh, automatic gain control uh, levels: linear, default, sea or sky, outdoor, indoor. We have it set up for outdoor right now. Um, the DDE is just digital detail enhancement. Uh, that's FLIR's uh, trademark and patented uh, logarithm that actually sharpens up the image uh, and allows you to get more information depending on how sharp it is. Uh, when it does get sharper, it looks a little bit more noisy, but definitely can get more image out there. Um, there are some other settings which was not described to me and I'm sure will be in the manual when the manual is available. That's all we have for today. We'll have more videos on the FLIR View Pro coming up soon. In the meantime, you can get any information from our website, oemcameras.com, by clicking on the link below.